like one of the only vegan options that they have in the airport. And I got a matcha and I got a Candice. Caught you yawning. <laughs> We just met, um, found her at the airport, and now we're gonna go get my bags and then get to the Airbnb. Let's go. these little bags because it's like 10 cents a piece what did i not set it up right no why this is behind the camera because i got this new tripod thing and your what's wrong with your it? head was cut off it's like you could see like your nose just my nose it's just your nose there no, you go can you see it all and action and let's go okay <laughs> so we're gonna go to whole foods um because i'm doing like a lot of photo shoots and a bunch of really cool activities so i want to make sure to stay like fit but I am gonna make pancakes. We're gonna go get ingredients right now um, for the week. I really always like when I travel, I like to just go get all my ingredients and that way I can eat in, but I also like to eat out, but I'm just rambling now because I'm not on a lot of sleep. Shirt, like I think this is like $3 at Walmart or something. And then I just tied them like this. And this really cool jacket, like look at these details. So fun story about this jacket is um, my mom wore this back in the 80s. So it's like a hand-me-down and I love it. Okay, so let's go to Whole Foods, um, and yeah, bye. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be this gloomy, but they said during months like this, I guess. Yeah. That's Salad. <laughs> we're big or we're go cool. home. But are we from Texas? Born and what we got real quick. Maybe I should bend like this. I don't know if it's adjusted right or not, but we'll figure that out later. <laughs> I got almond milk. I got bananas. I got this thick, dank salad. Your head's cut off. All the way? Yeah. I got it. <laughs> I got on, bananas, a sauerkraut. Um, I got two lemons. My favorite water ever, Mountain Valley water. And I did get these. I showed you guys. This is like my weakness. So good though strawberries to go on top of the pancakes I'm gonna make and lastly some gluten-free buckwheat organic flour and my total bill I'm trying to find my receipt so I could like show you guys but I don't know what I did with it okay so yeah my total bill was um 52 that's probably because I got like a huge salad as well but this will literally last me um the whole time we're here we're here for four days okay five uh -huh. Okay, so five days. This is gonna last me five days, $52. And good, like what? Breaking it down to like $10 a day and eating out, especially in Cali, is like extra expensive. So, yeah. And then how much did you spend, Candace? 77 only because I got a protein supplement. Okay, 77 And what did you get? I got some dressing, cans of beans, a protein supplement, a few bars. She got a bunch of beans. Fresh kale. 
on the milk to make some shakes and I got a few things of fruit like avocados, bananas, apples, and um and so yeah, $77 for her and that's in the last five days, 50 something dollars for me, and it's in the last five days. So this is like a really, really affordable way to travel and to be healthy at the same exact time. And yeah, we're gonna go now. Bye. All right, now we're gonna go get a workout in. Anytime I'm traveling, I like to definitely work out and California is an awesome place to do that. Uh, train, uh, is you ready? Huh? I'm getting you on camera. No, uh, you don't want. <laughs> For me, I honestly love training and it really, really eases my mind and helps me to release any stress that I may be going through. And for me, it's just a lifestyle, like I thoroughly enjoy it. And so when I'm traveling, that doesn't stop. I still love to train and it's really, really neat to be able to have close friends that feel the same way and enjoy the lifestyle just as much as you do. Um, a long time ago, I made like a conscious decision that um, the friends that I were going to allow into like my life, that they were going to be positive influences. So I actually met Candace at the gym, and um, it's just really, like I said, convenient and nice to be able to travel with people that have the same vision and um, the same lifestyle as you do. And also, who wouldn't love to train outside with beach views? Like, I love training in Cali. <laughs> I went and did an outdoor workout. I just did not film that. Alright guys, well I just wanted to take you through my vegan grocery haul while I'm traveling as well as my morning routine. And this is something that I've recently started incorporating. I just make sure that right when I wake up that I go and immediately start stretching and it's been really, really nice to have this time to clear my head in the mornings and to recenter and become more in tune with myself and my body and just refocus each morning. Another thing that I also did is I created this binder and it has a list of like morning meditation slash prayers that I say every single morning and it also has a few of my short-term and long-term goals that I read over every single morning. And again, it's just really, really nice. I think it's easy to get caught up in going through the motions of this fast-paced life. And in order to, like when I re read that every morning, it just grounds me and reminds me why I'm, doing, why I'm doing what I'm doing and my purpose. So I definitely suggest everyone making one of those because it's just been really, really helpful. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Part two will be coming soon and it'll show all of my adventures and everything that I did while in LA. And it'll also show how to eat vegan while eating out with friends. Thank you very much and I will see you on the next vlog. Okay, so I just wanted to do like a little makeup tutorial. Not that I'm a makeup artist, but I'm just gonna give you like my everyday look. I'm actually about to go do a music video and I'm doing my own makeup. We'll see how this goes, but I'm pretty much just gonna do what I do every single day, just add a little bit more. So I start, this is like nothing on my skin. I have like a few blemishes. When I drink a lot of coffee, I get pimples. So I just use this um, Avalon Organics for like my moisturizer and then I combine it with um, tea tree oil and I just do this like every morning when I wake up. And you can get this like at the drugstore. Pretty much nothing I have is like um, too fancy or anything like that. Do this.
Not everything that I have is vegan, but I want to get to that point. And I honestly haven't done enough research, so if you have suggestions, definitely let me know. I just use this, I think it's like, I don't know, like under $10. And I use the color Nude, and I just like put this all over my face. And the best um, equipment that I have found is my hands. I don't use like those fancy brushes or whatever. And I'm doing, like I said, I'm gonna be on video today. And I'm in LA, so like, I don't know of any makeup artist here. Honestly, this was sort of like a last minute thing. Cover up those pimples. And honestly, I wouldn't even know where to go or have time, so. I'm just doing this myself, so I'm gonna put on a lot more than I normally do because I want full coverage, because it's gonna be like on bill, uh, big film, big film. Like I'm like pounding this on and putting layers, but. Hopefully this is enough. This makes me feel like the Lion King, ready? Just to make sure this is recording. Yeah. Then after that, I use this uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder. I feel like this is cruelty free. I just put this like under my eyes and I only do this if I'm um, like no, I'm going, because I do all like, my makeup. I don't do a lot of photo shoots, but I've recently started again. And so when I do my own makeup, which I pretty much do, like, I'll put this on so you can't see like those bags. And I just sort of like keep it on a white. Again, I am absolutely no professional, but this is like what I use. Hopefully you can hear me well. It's like the morning, so I'm pretty calm. And I just put that on like, a lot so like i said because i'll be on camera i just really want this to like be white and i'll just let that sit while i do the rest and this is probably like the most expensive product i use and i actually like went to sephora for it otherwise it's like all drugstore stuff my shit is so ghetto huh <laughs> um maybe ghetto is not the right word but like not put together well and it's like almost all out and i just like fill in my eyebrows Like I'm taking a lot of time on this because like I said, I'm going to shoot. Otherwise, this literally takes me like 10 minutes. I'm not like the girl who like cakes on makeup by any means. Not that that's bad, that's just not what I do. Now my eyebrows are like, you can see them. And then I take that same thing and I should definitely get a new one of these so you can see it looks like full. And there's like a little white color and I just put that right underneath my eyebrows. And on that like upper lid. And my vegan girls, if you have all vegan makeup, please share your secrets. I honestly probably just need to research more. I just haven't done it. That'll be a goal of mine. And then I take that same color that I used um, for my eyebrows and I just like put it in the crease. I'm like, I don't really like that black look. I like to look pretty natural. But again, I'm putting on more for this shoot. I feel like a clown. I'm gonna go back on top of that. That white again. And then I'm gonna take this Too Faced product and I'm pretty sure this is vegan too. And I'm just gonna like contour my face the best way I know. <laughs> I was like, I think I read her like, that you do like a three. So like, that's what I do. Like we're here, we're here, and then like we're here. So it's like a three, one, or three. You know, you see it? Three. <laughs> that's all I got. Huh? Why? Why? So? It's real life. What? I don't know. Okay, and then I add blush, and I use this by MAC. I don't think this is cruelty free, and it's called Warm Soul. And please help me find makeup that's on point. I'll be 
then the last thing I'm gonna do is I actually have to put on lipstick too but then I'm just gonna use this and again this is just from like the drugstore and this is the one that I have found oh man <laughs> this is the one that I have found to be the very best and really makes my lashes like go up that booty though and then you like put this on for like way too long trying to like make them long mm. Mm. and then I'll have lipstick and then I'll be done and then I do my, um, like I do this with my eyes. This is my, I use my hands for everything again, so it's like a natural eye curler. That's what I like to call it at least. And then I make some like that. And then I added this, and again, this is at the, just like at the drugstore counter, NYX. And I think it's called something like stripper. No, it's called push up. It's called push up. And it's really good, but I also have a vegan one that I do use a lot. I just didn't bring it here with me today. And then this is like the end product. Can you see it all? Can you see my face good? Yeah, I know you're talking to me. Who else am I talking to? There's no one here, what the fuck? Okay, so show them everything. Does it look good? Yes. And this is me like doing my own photo shoot makeup. And thank you guys. Hope you liked that, um, really simple, but that's me. So, yeah. All the homies, they have a good day today. Morning. And then this is like the final look. So for like really cheap products, I feel like, I mean, I like it. But I'm pretty basic. I mean, I'm not basic, but I'm simple, you know? All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, I had had like a few girls ask and I was doing it anyway, so I just figured why not go ahead and give you that tutorial. Again, I, I am no makeup artist by any means. Um, and if you do have vegan options that you already have tested and you know really, really work well with skin, please, please, please let me know. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that bell and stay tuned to see the rest of my trip here in Los Angeles, California. Thank you so much guys, bye.